be honest, for women, if you can stimulate the brain, then you're like even more sexy. But that's, there's, there's also a nice guy and it's also called desperation. And I cannot spell desperation on you. Like you have to be really cool. Size matter, but I think confidence is key. I think if you do what you love and you show that passion and you're actually making money moves, then you're golden. Ken Arcega here for the Manceptional Podcast. So we have another real interview with a real female getting feedback on all the stuff that you guys want to know but might be afraid to ask or not able to ask. So uh, thanks for coming on the podcast. Absolutely. I'm a real female. I like that. <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so let's say <clears throat> you're sitting in a bar. You're with your friends, and three guys walk in, okay, three buddies, and they come sit down mm-hmm. to your table. One guy is a super nice guy. He's like, hey, can I get you a drink? He runs to get you a drink. Or you okay. just got to be taller. I think that it is a little uncomfortable, me personally, to date someone who's shorter than me, and then when I put on heels, you're even more shorter than me. This guy, he's a... Uh, Good looking bad boy type, you know, maybe he's a fitness instructor, maybe he's got a couple tattoos, good looking guy. Uh, but basically he just wants to get into your pants. I mean, that's that's obvious and that's it. Third guy, uh-huh. kind of a normal looking guy. Um, you know, he's confident. He's not super, super interested because he's kind of preoccupied. He's preoccupied, he's getting ready to take off on a, an adventure trip through Morocco. And uh, so he's kind of got his thing going. Uh-huh. Now, what uh-huh. would be, what's your first impression on these three guys? You know, who would pique your interest, if any, uh, out of these three different types of guys? Um, probably the Moroccan guy or the, the trip to Morocco guy. And why Only because he just, because he's just cool, legit, and wants to like explore the world and, mm-hmm. you know, travel. I mean, and that, aside from the travel, if he's just a normal guy, he's not trying to have his persona, uh, like the guy with the tattoos, like beef up his chest and like doing all that <laughs> extra stuff. You know, he's just like, cool. Like he's probably there just to get a drink. If whatever happens, happens. There's no pressure. It's just, right. It is what it is. You have good conversation. You probably found out that he's leaving through a good conversation. So, you know, that's the person that I would personally gravitate towards. Mm-hmm. And be honest for women if you can stimulate the brain then you're like even more sexy like Mm -hmm. even so you don't necessarily need to be like the good best looking person out of the group you could just be mentally stimulating and all of a sudden like you're like you're it and i said Mm -hmm. like and there's no competition so Interesting. That would be mine. The reason why I probably wouldn't pick the guy with the tattoos. Now, if I was in Vegas or something like that, maybe the guy <laughs> in Vegas would be great. Right. But I'm just saying, like, it would be what my mindset would be at that moment. Like, if I knew I was walking in the club, I'm not that type of person, but if I knew I was walking into the bar and that guy approached me and I knew that was like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm in that state of mind where, you know, a one night stand or whatever is like, why not? Okay. And if I was maybe in my twenties, you know, something of like it would just be a certain type of like person that would say, you know, can I cuss? You can say whatever you want. Fuck it. Okay, <laughs> fuck it, whatever. <laughs> so, you know, like it is what it is. But if I the guy who is, you know, wiping down my feet and putting first of all, putting money in my meter, yeah, I'm he's already gonna, there. So what a nice nah. guy. He, he what, doesn't want- I mean it's a great guy. But that's there's, there's also a nice guy, and it's also called desperation. And I cannot spell desperation on you. Like you have to be really cool. So I'm all for the nice guys because I'm a nice woman. I know I get it a lot. Like oh, she's so nice, but I'm not desperate, and I'm also like really aware of myself. So I'm just naturally nice because I feel like you know you treat people the way you want to be treated. The golden rule of life. Right. But you know if you follow up with all the extra stuff, and I don't know you that well then it just seems a little little off track. So I right. would suggest that he cool it and just uh, and maybe be normal, like the normal guy. <laughs> and, well, you know, and then things will start flowing. 
Maybe it's I'm sorry? if you don't have maybe it, would you say that's a confidence thing? Like if you're trying too hard and you're desperate, you know, does that mean you don't feel like they are confident in themselves? Um, under in a in a underlining point of view, yes. I think mm-hmm. if you say it to them just off the bat, or if you if I like if that guy was in front of my face and we just happened to have a conversation about it, I don't think mm-hmm. he will admit to it his right. confidence or his lack of confidence. I think he will really think he's really confident because he's able to do such and such. But in, in reality, I just think that if we were like having like a really deep conversation, he would, there would be some issues that probably weren't addressed and you layer them up with other things. And then all of a sudden you present yourself as, you know, that guy, but I think if we shed the layers back, we would see that there would there would be issues there, and right. you know, so yeah. I think it's hard for guys to admit that they're not confident or they're not strong. I think every guy just kind of like grows up thinking that even if they serve bullshit to a girl, you know, then that's confidence. Like, oh well, I had confidence, and it's just like, but it's not just about confidence. It's about substance. It's about respect. It's about mm-hmm you know, truly just engaging in a woman and getting to know her and not using her for a number. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I just want to get in her pants because, you know, that's, that I got this many chicks, why not add to the bench? It's not about that. And I think that, and I'm a, I have really good discernment. So if I could kind of pick that up mm-hmm. from anybody, regardless of what they look like or what they have going on in their life, then it's just a big no-no. Right. Okay. That's good. That's So, you know, it's funny because all the... um like dating apps and studies all seem to focus on looks like um, Newsweek has an article where, or they did a survey, they surveyed 150 women. uh, And what that revealed was that a man's attractiveness came down to, and I get this strength, height, and a lean body type. And yeah, I believe it. But, but what does that, is that completely separate from the, you're just talking about the personality and the confidence as being kind of more important. Well, I just, but. Yeah. I feel like us as a society, we put that on men and women, but now that we're just on the subject of men, you know, we mm-hmm. put that on, if you come into a bar, the first thing that you are presenting to like the audience or the people that's there is your physical attributes. So mm-hmm. you have to, you know, if you're not A, B, or C, like you just mentioned, then you're less likely to get a girl or you're less likely to get in for the night with that girl that you've probably been eyeing all night, whatever the case. But I guarantee if the, if the, if the conversation was switched to how many guys had, you know, walked into a bar and didn't have any expectations for the night, was just truly enjoying themselves and Mm -hmm. then happened to have a normal conversation and sparked a, con- a a really good conversation with the girl, how that then will lead further into a, a courtship and dating because that on itself has been like thrown by the wayside. I think that yeah. the initial attraction is always physical, but then when it's time to like go on a date or it's time to court a woman, a guy doesn't know how to hold a conversation. And then us women are wondering, like, he's cute, but I probably, yeah, probably I'll use that guy for his money because he can't really stimulate my mind. Or, yeah, I'll probably, you know, um, go, go, you know, have a, go on a date with this guy because I just want to, you know, have, have sex with him and that's it. So it, it shifts the girl's motives as well into just oh, like, uh, he's, 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 he's just that guy, but he's not the guy that I see a a potential with you know like getting the wheels turning to something totally different which i think everyone is searching for the person in the bar is searching for that person but no one really knows how to get there or take like know how the path to get to that place so now we're just in you know the city full of vain (laughs) non-conversation having are you referring i just want to fuck everybody (laughs) <laughs> you know it's like it becomes that 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 norm and women and men don't really know how to navigate through that because now we got to like shuffle through like a whole bunch of guys mm-hmm. to get to that one guy that maybe has potential and then you know hopefully we don't have to like teach them something but you know sometimes mm-hmm. you do 
<laughs> okay. So, so we'll get back to the, um, that's great feedback. I, I'm sure uh, that's uh, not just enlightening, but uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Um, you know, nice to hear from some men that the personality does count. Um, but the, the, um, just on, since all these studies talk about attributes, you know, height and all that stuff, is it, okay, initial attraction, but is height an initial attractor, like someone that's tall versus short? Depends on the woman. Cause I know I can say for, um, some of my friends, mm-hmm. it's a, it's an absolute, like it's an absolute, absolute. they're just naturally attracted to like tall guys. Now okay. I can't say for me personally, they, I would, per, I know I would say they have to be taller than me. If, if like it, with my heels on, so like if I have on with heels, heels on. you have to either match my height with my heels. Or you okay. just got to be taller. I think that it is a little uncomfortable, me personally, to date someone who's shorter than me. And then when I put on heels, you're even more shorter than me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, do, right. I, I think it's just more me. But I wouldn't say, oh, you know, if he's if he's not six feet, then <laughs> I don't want to, like, I'm not that type of person. Right. But I do know women that are. So I'm not going to say that it's a height is not an attraction. Because it is, God. but I guess it just depends on the woman. But I think for generally speaking, women would tend to date people at least their height in heels. Okay. So, okay. Um, so I have some, since we're kind of on this track, <clears throat> I have some grooming questions. Um, and, you know, a lot is put into people grooming, right? They want to look good, haircut, this and that. I mean, that's, so there's something to it. People are interested in the topic. Um, mm-hmm. Would you? So I just have some kind of rapid fire questions here. Uh, beard or no beard? Oh, okay. So funny story. We just had this conversation, like okay. with my friends, the other day. So I, I'm at the age where a beard, is, a beard is sexy. Like a beard or facial hair is sexy. You know, it's just something when a grown man with some facial hair is like a absolute. But is, it has to be. Why is it sexy? Manly or something? Or what, what's the... Yeah, it's, it, but it has to be groomed. Like you said, it has to be taken care of. It has to be manscaped, however you want to call it. It has to It has to be that. It can't just be like, you know, food hanging in the beard. <laughs> or, <Okay. laughs> or, you know, the edges are not trimmed or whatever. I see you scratching and flakes are flying. No. But... Right. Um, no beard. Okay, can I say okay? A good goatee slash something. Just something. Something. Something is good. Something is okay. good. A bare face. If uh, is good when you have the face for it. Okay. I think some guys like they'll get a beard. They'll get, they'll have facial features or or you know hair. I don't mm-hmm. know what to call it. A beard or a goatee, and mm-hmm. they take that that boost of confidence that one day, and they want to shave it off. And then it's like, oh, but I was used to like seeing you like that for five years. So like, <laughs> that's your look. So when you take it away, it's like, now you have like a baby face oh. and I don't understand why, why? Cause you look good the way you were. And I get they probably tried something different, but if you could just respectfully and nicely <laughs> say, I like it better. Yeah. <laughs> grow it back and keep it that way. Okay. Then- <laughs> Okay. But I think I think when you when you, okay so thirty and above women I would say would probably prefer a guy with facial features. Any women, you know, in their twenties, I would say they would probably debate about it, but they would probably aim for the guy that has a bare face. Okay, just because they would look younger, I would assume. Oh, okay. Um, what about long hair or short hair? So just you know, shaved short. Or some kind of long style. I'm all for, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I like, I am attracted to guys who have long hair. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know why. You I think like, I, I, like I was fob- in a relationship fob- with one for, I'm sorry? I was going to say like the Fabio type or like dreadlocks or what do you mean when you say long hair? What are you talking uh, about? Oh, okay. Now you're really getting into it. Okay, Fabio type, no. Because I feel like if you're going to have long hair, you got to keep it up. Like a bun, a ponytail, a braid, something. Just flowing in the wind. Yeah, a man bun. But flowing in the wind like Fabio, no. You're doing too much. Like, that's just, (laughs) no. 
Okay. You're not a girl. Keep okay. it up. <laughs> um, dreads, I know. I know. <laughs> but dreads, I'm starting to like them. Okay. I didn't before because I was, I just, I don't know why, but I think that um, dreads are okay. Again, it's just the upkeep, the maintenance. If you have right. dreads and you want to look like The Weeknd or you have dreads and you want to look like a Rastafarian who's been like digging in the jungle, this right. is not my personal preference. I would I rather you keep it up. Hair, though. I think The Weeknd shaped it off, right? He's got short hair now, I think. And, yeah, because he realized somebody told him you can't get far with that hair. Oh. So he did what he had to do, you know? So, but short hair, absolutely. I think guys are always like, you can't go wrong with short hair. I think you do for guys to have long hair. They at first have to build up the confidence to get there and to stay there and commit to it. Right. But if you, if it's working out for you and you taking, you grooming yourself and you washing it and you, you know, it's, it could, it could work in your favor. It definitely can work in your favor. But every time I see a guy who has long hair, I'm like, Ooh, you know, like, <laughs> okay. what what about um hair all over the body like a furry bear oh uh, no you can see the chest hair coming out of the <laughs> collar right it's like uh-uh. puffing up the back you know you can no. see the hair the shirt back no the back. <laughs> no 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 i'm not gonna i'm just gonna leave it as, a, as absolutely not you can probably get away with your legs because you know that's cute i think if guys shave their legs uh, you, I don't know about that either, but, um, yeah, let's say, so some, some do it for, you know, cycling or whatever, but let's say someone just shaves their okay. legs or on a regular no, no and they don't have no real reason to do so. Yeah. They're not swimming. They're not running, no. You know, what's going on? Yeah. No, okay. that's a no. You're a man. There's certain things you, as a man you should do, you should keep and like, as a woman, there's certain things that I would, I would assume they would expect me to do. To, okay. uh, you know, keep myself together, and I I expect that in return. But I don't respect it in the same way that I do it. You know, I expect it in right. a different way. So, so that kind of you, uh, one of the main topics, which is or, or one of the topics, which is the manscaping, where uh, apparently men these days are going full you know bald ego, or they get everything Brazilian waxed like women do. What do you think about that? Okay, yeah, I've been there before. It's a funny story. I probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's I a, it's a, it's, I know, I know. It's a, it's like just leave a little something or like a little little growth hair, you know, the mm-hmm. grow back, something, but not all. If you are a grown, I'm I'm assuming this is a grown audience. Yes, yeah. This so is I'm adult. speaking from like thirty mm-hmm. and above, or even forty and above. I think adult. they already know. I don't. Yeah, it's a no. Give me something that like says like you're a man. Okay. <laughs> like you're a man. Okay. Like that's what I, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Now, do I expect like men to like trim it up sometimes? Yes. Like, yes. Cause sometimes it gets in the way, but, um, sh- d- waxing. No, leave the hair follicles there. W- what about someone that does like eyebrows? So you, you can tell when someone has the eyebrows tweezed or, or wax yeah. perfect. Okay, so I may sound like really contradictory right now, but I don't mind the eyebrows only because um, because I don't see nothing wrong with a man getting it's just like a form of like uh, when you trim your beard or when you, you know, you do it to like okay. manscape. It's the same thing, like manscaping your eyebrows. It's, it's, it could grow for men. It can get a little wild. And right. sometimes men just think that, oh, I'm just a man. I'm going to let her just do what it do. And, and actually you're like, oh, but like, if you only would just put a wax right there, I can get that <laughs> little part right there. So, <laughs> so, um, or, you know, thread it. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of threading, but when you get it threaded, I don't know if you know about that, but I heard about it. Uh, I do. Oh. It's, it's a more natural way of, you know, escaping and mm-hmm. you could do a whole bunch of with threading. You can thread your mustache, you can thread your cheeks and there's a whole mm. bunch of chins and stuff but oh, um i haven't gotten that far. Uh, yeah i know but i say it's and you know it goes back to like when i go get my nails done and i'll see mainly older men getting their 
pedicures and their manicures. I'm down for that because I'm like, God, if men just knew how like sexy that is that I know you're taking care of your hands and feet and you you're not like I'm not asking you to polish them, but like getting that crud out of your toes and your fingers. Uh Absolutely. (laughs) Do it. Do it. Do it. Wait. So (laughs) does that does that mean someone that has you know, clean nails and all that? Or you mean someone that actually has, uh, you know, some shiny gloss on their fingernails? No shiny nails. I don't think that men should have, like, if you're going to go go for a manicure, there's a such thing as a manicure or pedicure with no polish. You just say, I want a manicure or pedicure, no polish. Okay. And they rub some nice little, like, sea salt in your hands, and they give you a little foot massage and a hand massage, and okay. you just have that natural glow. Oh. But no polish. You know, no you have that, and it, and you feel relaxed. It's just like getting a, you know, a massage. Got Same it. difference. Okay, interesting. So, what about uh, moving on to? And I know we're we're kind of on the physical stuff. We'll get back to personality and all that. Uh, but what mm-hmm. about fitness? You know, do you want someone that's, you know, in okay shape, or somebody that's, uh, you know, spends a lot of time, like looks like a fitness trainer or a, a bodybuilder type. No bodybuilder type because I don't have time for it. Okay. As what, far what, as what mean, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Um, bodybuilder types from my experience, uh, like is like be all and all love all. Like that's my life. Right. Uh, so there's more to life. Yeah. Like, no, I get it. There's a certain level of commitment. you got to, you know, give of yourself mm-hmm. to get there. Mm-hmm. But it's just not, it's not where I am in life. Mm-hmm. I believe like fitness should be, it's, it's a definite a necessity. So yes, I do believe that I'm attracted to men who say, Hey, you know, today I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna go to the gym without being asked to or not, you know, mm-hmm. you, you know, just do the work. If you want to see results, you do the work. And there's only one way you can kind of get there without cheating, you know, and that's just go work out. It's just something. Yeah. But um, an active man, a, a healthy, active man, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone who's just like, I need to just get the steam off. I need to like work on my leg day. Here's the arm day. Like here's my ab day. And <laughs> they keep, and then they realize that there's other things to life than the gym. Right. Right. Yeah. So balance, a, ba- a little bit of a balance. balance. Exactly. A little bit of balance. So what about, uh, how does that apply to tattoos? Like no tattoos, full sleeve, or just a little bit of tattoos? Oh, okay. So <clears throat> I do like tattoos. I, but I also don't like them. I, per- I don't have tattoos. I personally mm-hmm. don't think that I, I actually would prefer a man, to be honest, who didn't have tattoos okay. than someone who did. Okay. Don't ask me why. Maybe because I don't have tattoos. But, um, I think a, a clean, a good clean, uh, no, I would say I would probably get flack for saying this. Like the fact that like, oh girl, you're crazy. Like tattoos all day. But, um, it's just something like, just like a guy who's just saying like, uh, you know, I know I can get a tattoo, but why? Like, right. that's how I am. Like, okay. I think I could relate to that because it's just like, I don't need it. I don't need to go and brand myself for life. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in a, a, a customized jewelry or something. I don't know. There's other things to do. I don't need to put it on my body. Got it. Okay. Um, so kind of moving over to the um, personality side of things, how important, well, we already talked a little bit about confidence and someone who's interested in stuff. What about like humor? How important is someone that has a good sense of humor? Uh, super important. Like if you could connect with someone and and they you make them laugh and they make you laugh, you could honestly be the most less the the least attractive person in the bar and you 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 got draws waiting for you. So mm. I mean it's <laughs> I mean humor is definitely it's just like a it's an icebreaker. It's a um when you know things are not really going so well you can still find some type of silver lining and make you know and make it a a, a, out of optimism you know so i think that humor helps grows relationships i think that it's fun when you can like 
actually date someone and you guys have the same sense of humor. So when you're just like randomly about and you start having inside jokes, or you start joking around and it's just natural. It's better than just sitting there being uptight. So I definitely say it's a winner. And that kind of goes into attitudes. So, you know, there's different types of people, people right. that go with the flow or somebody that's very strict with, um, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything, right? You could go with the flow, but maybe you never get anything done because you're always going with the flow, right? right? Or exactly. you're too that, rigid, yeah. you get stuff done, but like you won't deviate from your routine at all, ever. Right. And I've dated, you know, men who I didn't really care. I didn't have the same sense of humor or the same sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And like they would try. I think that at some point it would, they would try, but it was just awkward. So, <laughs> yeah. So I think okay. I think more more or less the compatibility of the humor has to be like in sync, right. or else it's just kind of like either you will be they'll try to say a joke and it'll be offensive, or you try to jo- say a joke and you're like that was corny, you know. So it has to be balance. I guess it goes back to the word balance. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So here, here's a scenario. So you're walking down the street uh, with this guy that you're you know f- whatever first date or whatever, um, and uh, some lady falls, old lady falls and trips on the curb. Right. And, uh, one guy, he runs over to help her and make sure she's okay. Helps her stand up, maybe walks her across the street. And the other guy doesn't even notice. He just keeps walking. Is that? Oh, hell no. Yes. That says everything to me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's good. (laughs) No, that would not like, come on. I wouldn't even try to entertain it or no, it's a, Get it, get the heck out of here. Don't even right. try to part your lips to come talk to me. No, <laughs> that would be, I bet, I that would be pretty cold, but I'm sure there are quite a few people like that who would just keep walking. Yeah, and you know what? I hope when they are old and they trip and fall, that next person keeps walking and it's karma. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what, so, what you if, know, I hope they <laughs> get that right back to them. Go ahead. So what if your date's continuing here and you're going in to get a coffee and uh, so he goes and orders and he pays for his coffee and stands over waiting for his coffee. You're just standing there. <laughs> He's a cheap ass, basically. Oh, can't. okay. So I had, I, I was on a date one time. Let me tell you, it was a freaking blind date. This is why I don't do blind dates. I didn't even want to go on this one blind date because I was like, I don't do blind dates. What the hell? But my friend was like, oh my gosh, I work with him. I think this you guys will be so good together. And she kept saying it. And I was like, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. She was raving about him. And then we go to the restaurant. We having a really good conversation. I thought he was cool. Not really that cute, but you know, we were having a good conversation. So I was like, yeah, it's cool. I can see where she thought we could be compatible. And when it came to paying the bill, mm-hmm. he's, str- I mean, I, if anything out of this whole thing, I compliment him on his confidence to even part his lips to say something, but <laughs> it was a, you killed the whole vibe. So whatever we just sat here for two hours talking, it was, it was ended by you saying, I usually go Dutch on the oh, first date. Man. And I'm the woman where I didn't like, you know, I didn't get an attitude. I didn't say, uh, I, I didn't give him that impression at all. I'm fine. I'm an independent woman. I'll pay for my own goddamn meal. But, yeah. you know, no freaking taken. I'm not ever going on a date well, with you again. So I would say this for our manceptional audience. Okay. Especially if you ask a girl out, even to get coffee. Okay. You're paying. You're asking her you're out. Pay- absolutely. <laughs> You're paying absolutely I, I would say even if you both just kind of said hey let's go get something to eat mutually you're still paying you know that's being a man i think right these days i agree that's horrible but i mean come on i agree and that's why it's so hard to date nowadays because it goes back like what i was saying before with courtship and you know how to court a woman and how to like you know it, it's still there's a traditional aspect that i think as women, I know, you know, we're independent. I'm super independent. I, I enjoy the fact that I can provide for myself without needing anyone, but that mm-hmm. doesn't say that it would be nice if I had a partner who could just for the hell of it, because they love me, because they like me so much, or because they really want to like get to know me, that they're just showing me that they care. It's like, it's, it's on a whole nother level of just like a payment or, you know, you're just, you paid for it. It's like a, you know, I think you're cool. I want to spend time with you. So 
you know, let me do you this favor. And right. without asking, without feeling the need that they're going to get something later, just because. And right. that's awesome to know that, you know, that's awesome to know that. But men nowadays just lose, they, they, that is, I don't know where it was lost in translation, but it's so hard for some guys to pick up that concept of, you know, you're courting a girl, you want to get to know a girl. And these, there are rules to, to that. And one of the rules are, uh, you need to pay, you know, it's like you pay unless I said, you know, the next one's on me. Unless I said that, or unless I said, you know what, you pay for the next one or no, I seriously, I got it, you know, and I really didn't have any hesitation about doing it. Then by all means, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with women also saying, you know, I got it this time around. There's nothing wrong yeah, with that. They, they want to do, but other than that, you should really, uh, you know, it seems so obvious, but it's, it's part of the culture these days where, men really go around like that you know <laughs> right yeah and it's so sad it's so sad it's, it's sad and it's almost like they don't want to have a conversation because they still want to do what they want to do and it's, right. and it's, and, it, and have women accept that that's just going to be what it is and it's unfair it's unfair yeah. because if, if if they had um i'm pretty sure men have you know certain things they require out of a woman that has nothing to do with you know, or I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure a, a traditional man or even a halfway traditional man would assume that when he comes home, he would like every once in a while for his woman to cook a nice dinner or to mm. make sure the house is clean or to make sure that, you know, his hey, bags are packed if he has to go. You, know, <laughs> you can't say that. I can't say that to you. Well, I'm just saying, like, no, it's, it's, it's saying. like if, I was, if you were to do it, if a woman was to do it, they would do it because they love that person and they like them or because they want right. to, like express some type of gratitude to that person so no, that's I, it's I, equivalent no i'm just saying i'm just saying these days that's politically incorrect you know <laughs> oh, well, i'm just gonna say it because it's politically correct and people just want to act like it's not so right. I, I'll, I'll set the record straight i'll set the record straight <laughs> okay not there cool guys not cool now what about um what about what about age range, right? Um, would you? Oh gosh, if I had younger, some of my friends. Younger, how much older? You, what's your range that you would find acceptable? Oh, okay, so um, I'm probably gonna like. I know this is supposed to be anonymous, but if my friends are watching or listening, they are probably laughing their asses off right now because okay. I don't have a rhyme or reason to my age. Now, I personally. I personally will not date anyone younger than me, younger, okay. only because um, uh, several reasons. But I would say the top couple of reasons are because I have kids, I have responsibilities, and mentally you will have to be prepared for if you're trying to really seriously be in my life, be mm -hmm. prepared for that, you right. know, prepared. Right. Cause I'm, I'm not going to try, you know, I'm not going to get that mindset of feeling like I have a, a, another kid or, you know, I'm saying I have mom duties. I'm trying to go here with my kids and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to go to the bar with my friends. And it's just like a disconnect. So, right. um, I personally don't go that route. Now I have definitely dated men older and like really older than I have, like than mm -hmm. I am. Okay. So I'm in my thirties. I've dated older. That's all I'm going to say. What, um, what if they have kids. So you're talking about you have kids. What if they and, have kids? And they have. And you know what? It, I'm like a family woman. So it tends to work in everyone's favor because I'm down for the kids. I'm down for, like, I wouldn't even mind having kids again. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but like, I wouldn't mm -hmm. actually mind if I met the right guy mm -hmm. and I hit and I, and I moved in my little benchmark. <laughs> okay. I would definitely have another kid. Wow. But, um, I love kids. I truly do. But that's in my nature. I know some women are like, no, because they have kids or because they don't want to deal with the baby mama drama or the ex-wife or whatever, you know, but it's like, if you, if, if there's, if, there's, if you come in with a level of respect and everyone's mature enough, like if I can engage the situation being really mature and you guys naturally come to a, I, I just love it. I love it. My ex that I was dating, you know, he had a kid. Um, a daughter and I love that girl like I loved her she was super like fun and she like she got a we, we all got along like with my kids 
I had no problem just saying even if her dad couldn't make it to, you know, something and it was like a play date or a birthday party, she was with me, like, because I, like, that was it. Like, there was no question about it. I'm down for it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a lot these days, especially as you start getting older and a lot of people are divorced or single parents. Right. A lot. So it's kind of hard to, like, <laughs> assume that that won't be, like, the actual norm. Like, you, how, how are you going to date older if anything, somebody's going to have a history. Somebody, whether it be a, a ex-wife, a crazy ex-girlfriend, five kids, or one kid. Like, there's going to be some type of track history. I would actually hope that the person that I'm dating is older ha- actually lived a life before me. You know? Like, if I, you've got to live a life. Yeah, because let's say they're, they're older already and they've never been married or anything. Mm-hmm. At all. You kind of wonder what, you know, why not? Right? Yeah. I'm like, what, what did you do for the past 20 years? Right. Okay. (laughs) Um, What about, uh, so let me ask you this. What about um, kind of financial, uh, financial status, you know, someone that's uh, doesn't, you know, it's just making average money versus someone that's doing really well or, uh, you know, self-employed and doing well. Does that play into, how much does that play into things? Um, it plays. It plays a part. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> it plays. It plays a part. All right, so. No, I know. I know. I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> 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 no, that's not it. Because I'm gonna say it plays a part. But let me tell you how big of a part it plays. Okay, so it plays a part because you're grown, and you should be able to provide for yourself and provide for your family and. Uh, Yes, I think you should. I'm not going to say like, oh, if you're not making a certain amount of money, you know, Mm -hmm. six figures or whatever, then I'm like, I'm not messing with you. I'm not that type of girl. Mm -hmm. But um, you do have to be established. You do have to know what you want in life. You do have to know, have goals and have a plan to get to those goals and to execute the goals. And I think that if you have that mindset, then the financial part should relatively be like naturally within that that turning of the wheel right right if you are just working a whatever job and you're just like uh like i don't want to i want to do something else but i don't know what that something else is but i don't want to work this job but they're not doing anything I, but they're not doing anything that honestly is more of a turn but they could be working a really good job and be paying really well it's just i rather you live a life that you could appreciate yourself without anyone else being a part of it so do what you love even if like you have a, a nine to five job or a stable job just find some type of like passion and love for it and 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 i think i think all that stuff will come into perspective like that will naturally follow because you're going to have that hustle mentality and you're going to get it right i don't know i'm an i'm i'm an entrepreneur i felt like i've always been that way literally since a kid but i have worked you know a regular job before in my life and not to say that i I appreciate it because it taught me a lot about how to run a business it got me in i networked a lot with it Mm -hmm. but i just naturally have that you know i can't commit i can't give people the commitment for work that they uh, um assume they should get Mm-hmm. so I just don't do that to myself or to that person. Like I'm really like, um, honest with what I ha- what else I have going on. My kids are very a priority. I don't want to be that mom that says, you know, I'm going to call out, you know, because my kid is sick and you look at me like your kid is always sick, but that's the real. So, right. you know, I think for guys, it's just finding that balance too. And, and I think if you do what you love and you show that passion and you're actually making money move, then you're golden. Yeah. And you're that's, golden. And that's, that's a lot of what this podcast is about is, you know, men right. following their passions. And if they're on the wrong track, um, you know, and changing that track, then go ahead and change yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, I'm kind of going down that and path. And I think so many people are afraid to say, hey, it's all about trial and, trial and error. I mean, so many people – like you said, the most successful people always say I've, I'm successful because of my failures, you know, like because they knew what not to do. They experienced the failures to say, hey, you know, let me try another way because there's a thousand different ways to get to the same destination. 
So, you know, figure it out, figure it out. Don't get stuck on the one and then cry and boohoo about it and then get back into and then get depressed. And then you want to try to have a relationship with me and that shit rubs off on me. No, that's the end of our relationship. Okay. And you're still a miserable ass broke person. So no, you know, <laughs> no. It right. didn't, I, no. I asked and you gave me an answer. It was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, moving on to another <laughs> subject that uh, a lot of men are interested in, and I'm assuming women are, uh, which is sex. So, you know, men are always... Women are very interested. Okay. Well, okay. Well, what, what men are interested in is what goes into a woman's decision if they're going to have sex with a man or not, right? And, okay, know, wait, hold on. What goes into a man's decision to have, uh, a woman, no, have sex no, no, with a woman? No, men, men want to know what a, how does a woman decide if she's going to have sex with a man or not is it an immediate thing or is it build over time you know like what goes into a woman's calculation that yes i'm 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 going to do this uh, um or, okay absolutely, so absolutely no way i'm not not this person no how does that work um okay so like let's go back to like if the guy three guys walked into the bar Mm-hmm. I probably will probably want to have sex with the guy that had the tattoos and all that shit, you know, because but he you is, you like I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I, okay. I would say this. I wouldn't have sex with him. I would okay. say, Oh, you cute. Like as a physical, I would be like, Oh, you know, like, yeah, he's right. cute. Like I, I, I would, I would, I would have sex with him, but doesn't mean I'm actually going to have sex with him. That don't mean like when he comes up to me, he starts talking to me. I'm going to be like, Oh yeah, I'm definitely having sex with you. Like I, I wouldn't do that. But I would okay. say, oh, you cute. Like, I can see you naked and we can get it on. And in my mind, I would think that's, like, sexy. But right. I that wouldn't be a deciding factor on me actually doing the do. You know, oh, like, okay. I wouldn't. So what you were saying You before- know, just like if any guy, like, goes and say, oh, that's a nice ass. Or she got cute legs. Or she got, like, oh, like, it's like that. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to, like, he's going to act on it. I will hope he wouldn't. But, you know. Right. He's, gonna, he's then going to snatch her up and say, you know, you, I want right. you now. You know, it's not that you, you will put a little bit more effort into it. So that gets into what you were saying, where there's obviously initial physical attraction that everybody has. You just see a person, you haven't talked to them yet. So you've got that a first impression, but then when you right. go and talk to the person then you find out a little bit more about them, are they confident? What do they have going on? And then that's, you know, you have to go through that other part too. It's not just the first part. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's it's almost like having an interview. Right. You know, okay. and then maybe you come back for a follow up interview. And then you come up for a follow up interview. And maybe it takes a long time for you to get that job or to get that in them pants. Okay. But you know, however whatever the girl, whatever her, her end game is or however long it takes her to do it, as long as you stay committed and you you know, and y'all get something cracking. But you okay. know, that's I think that's more individual, but for the most part, you know, women we want sex. I love sex. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of women love sex. So well, I would think um, it's kind of a natural thing. So I, I, I would think, you know, women would, <laughs> I don't know if it's right. the same men, but yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So that, that I mean, goes, we're all humans. That goes to, um, you know, the question that always gets asked. So it's a little, little more graphic, but uh, does size matter? It does. It does. Okay. And it matters. And it, it could be bad on a small way and bad on a good way, like in a big way. Um, okay. It matters. It matters because, you know, the penetration needs to be perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but okay. What does perfect mean? Not perfect. Okay. But, you know, just good. Just like bomb. But, um, <laughs> 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 I know, I know. Don't judge me after this, okay? <laughs> no, I know. This, this is stuff people want to know, right? This is a, this is a natural conversation. So, um, so yes, I have. I had. I've had. Like I said, I've had experience with both. Okay, I can say, honestly, say. And with the smaller guy, you know, honestly, I think he had more confidence. Oh, okay. And I wasn't mad at it, but. Um, I I knew that I couldn't see myself like doing that for the rest of my life, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like being like as a re- reoccurring like factor that would just be kind of like, and I think I would get tired of it very okay. soon, unless you know there was some type of like you know 
some more some more tricks up in the sleeves. But <laughs> um, if for the big guy, mm-hmm. the shit hurts. Like at one point you get too long or whatnot, and it's 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 almost like I, I gotta concentrate a little bit too much and. And the and then it's like it, the pleasure turns into real pain. So, mm-hmm. so it's like a happy medium would be nice. A happy medium would be nice. But I think that regardless of whatever size a man is, man, like be confident in the bedroom and put in work. Don't ask me after or before is this big enough or small enough. Don't send you know dick pics and the shit is a lie. <laughs> like don't don't do stuff like that you know be honest be real about your stuff be real i don't and i don't actually like dick pics so don't think that i like i engaged in that but i've had have them sent to me i didn't ask for it but the shit was sent okay and yeah i find um, that a little strange. you know that would be much of a turn on to be yeah me. and it's just like i didn't ask but here it is i opened my text there it is now i gotta delete it because i have kids who actually play on my phone you know so yeah. so um uh yeah size matter but i think confidence is key okay all right and paying attention to the woman is key because i think also men can get a little selfish in the bedroom you know it's not about about, all about them so you know it's a give and take okay if you want some shit happening to you then you need to be able to be willing to put out (laughs) that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying don't be a little greedy ass a fair Person. trade. You got to be a fair, a fair trade. trade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, good. Good information. So, kind of getting getting back to you had mentioned something about uh, someone you know taking taking a relationship taking time to build. You know, how do you how does that end up getting in the friend zone? You know, or, or how does someone end up getting in your friend zone? And if they ever get in your friend zone. Do they ever get out of it? And what I'm talking about is somebody that really does like you and really does want you, but he's just ask, act, acting nice, too nice and never making any moves on you. And then at some point, you're just like that friend zone. And that's it for them. Yeah, I got a couple of those right now. Oh, yeah, you do? A couple okay. of people. Yeah, I do. And um, I, don't, I, I actually like them. Like I actually see potential, mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm not gonna say like um, I have a group of them right now. I'm not like that person. Okay. I am single, but um, just in previous um, lives, you know, past lives and all that stuff, I've had um, I put men in friend zones for I would say several reasons. One, like what you just mentioned, because they're not stepping up their game. Like they're mm-hmm. not stepping it up. They they are complacent with just being nice. And um, not really going for it, like say I like you, or having conversations because I okay. feel like it's, um, it's men will either say don't say nothing at all and do a whole bunch of stuff for you, but right. meanwhile they still have other side people. You know they have their whole other side of women that they're trying to get at, and they're blurred like they're blurred they don't know what they want they don't know what they want so therefore in order for me to keep my heart in check and my panties in check i'm just going to friends on you it doesn't mean that i don't like you it doesn't mean that you a, a man can definitely get out of the friend zone but he again he has to up his game he has to let me know that he is seriously interested in me and i'm not just someone he's just trying to like pass time with right Hold on, okay. sorry. That's so okay. Um, if I pick up that, which, like I said, I can use generally very quickly, um, mm-hmm. I'm a friends on you. And I'm not going to then engage in any type of other talk as far as, like, relationship talk or, you know, it, it will be a strictly, like, you, my homegirl type of talk. Like, right. you know, I, w- I about, will have that type of attitude towards you. What about someone that's in the friend zone and, you know, they've been in love with you the whole time and all of a sudden they come out with it. <laughs> they love you. They want you. Yes, but they haven't, come out they haven't, with this. They haven't made any of the moves that you're saying. They were just being nice. But exactly. Not- you know what? You got to If you talk to shit, walk the walk, talk to talk, like walk it. Like I talk it, however you want to put it. Like 
it has to be together. If you tell me you love me, you need to show me that you love me too. You can't just show me what you love me and then them don't ever tell me you love me. You can't just tell me you love me and don't show the shit. It okay. has to be this it has to be met in unison Definitely. and then you have to like just just give it. Just give it. Just give it, give it, give it and if and 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 give it without the expectations of giving it back be, or receiving it back because okay. that's how you know that you truly are feeling someone like regardless if they like me or not i still like you know what in the perfect life we would have been good together but at least you um did the your part by doing it and saying it and did it you know what i mean and if that if that woman didn't it didn't take to it or rejected you at least you lived life saying i did it and you know right. and maybe you'll find somebody else that will receive it and you have a little bit more confidence because you have a confidence in yourself. You, you know what you bring to the table and you could then be that for that woman. But maybe that woman that you had a crush on forever was your test, you know, right. but if you never get to, you know, building up the courage to come to someone and saying, I like you, I'm, you know what, I'm, we're going, I'm going to pursue you and see where it goes. And if you have that courage, again, one, first of all, the girl's still looking at you like, okay, like I see you, I'm gonna be a little bit more open to it if you're a good guy, you know. Okay. So the, it it does like quick a girl's brain a little bit to say, okay, all right, let's mm. see it. But if you just sit up there saying, oh, uh, I had a crush on her for years and years and years and years and years, and then someone says, well, then like, does she does she know about it? And you're like, no. You're like, well, then of course she's gonna go date somebody else. Right. Okay. Of course she's gonna like of course. She doesn't know that. You didn't do so, anything to tell her that you was interested. Yeah. So the the lesson for the male manceptional listeners is that you know, you have to make it you have to make it clear nobody's gonna necessarily read your mind. Exactly. You know, and you, I mean how many Exactly. And how many men go back and say, you know, the same for women. I can't read your mind. We we said we're classic for it. I know. But, you know, it is what it is. Right. You know, we, we say one thing, but then we wish you did another. You know, right. I think it's a, a cycle that us women have to break, too. Like if, if something's bothering us, speak up on it. You know, if something you don't like something, say something and then follow it up with some action on how to then remedy the situation. So it can try not to happen again. So that way right. y'all could be in a relationship cohesively and you know that's happy for everybody right but yeah if you have a crush on someone let them know you never right. know they probably was liking you back right okay okay that's good so to uh, kind of wrap things up here um what would you say your image of a manceptional you know a manceptional man would be kind of the you know what kind of characteristics and we've talked about them but just to kind of summarize what would your manceptional man look like and act like um someone who's selfless who actually knows love and is not afraid to show it um someone who knows themselves so they're comfortable and confident within themselves they don't feel like they need someone to complete them they are a whole person within mm -hmm. themselves they're a bomb person within themselves and whomever they choose to date is only going to elevate that and they're going to elevate together because mm -hmm. they're also dating a whole person because they can recognize it. Right. Um, someone who is a family man, because I am a family girl. So if you are down for the family, someone who can come around for all the holidays, the birthdays, and even if it's not all, because you know, it could be a little overwhelming, you know, it just has no problem saying, of course, for sure. Absolutely. Right. Not giving right. excuses on why they can't do something. Um, a man who, even in the midst of them being however old they are, still mm -hmm. knows that there is always room to grow um, and be better. Because I think people also get stagnant. They feel like, oh, I, I, you know, I'm 40 years old. I, you can't tell me nothing. It's just like, okay, well, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't mean you're always right, 40-year-old, you know? So... Right. Um, and someone who is, um, I mean, again, confident, someone who thinks ahead, someone who is planning a future for their family, someone who, um, when they see greatness, they want to be a part of it instead of trying to like then tear them down just to beat their chest up. Like, you know, like you want to make, you want to be a part of that. 
Um, right. Someone who respects women. First of all, I think respect goes a long way. I cannot love you for a day. You probably did some foul shit or you probably said something. And you know what? But if you respect, if there's a, a, a common respect between two people, two individuals, mm-hmm. especially a man to a woman, then, you know, maybe you're off your track with the love game. Maybe you feel like the relationship is not really vibing. But you, but you, you make sure that no other woman is going to come and disrespect her because you have respect for her and love for her, you know. So, mm-hmm. um, so you Aretha still Fran- hold Aretha right then. R e s p c t. Aretha Franklin. She yeah, like she, she nailed it on the head. And you know what? <laughs> A lot of these old school R and B like soulful songs, I, I listen to them. I know I'm young. I probably sound extremely young because I get it a lot. But I'm an old soul, and like those songs resonate to this day. They still are powerful they still have a a great meaning and a message um so i think it's just someone who wants to elevate their life and truly makes the effort to do so that's an exceptional man for me awesome that's awesome um that was i yeah i appreciate all your honesty and uh you know whether your friends listen to this or not i don't know that'll be up to you if you tell them (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I will. I will. And they're going to like crack up laughing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're going to have a whole nother brunch session and they're going to probably go in and say, you was being too nice. Uh, 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 and then I'm going to have to hear it. But you know, another day, another day. So, uh, right. yeah, again, thanks a lot. And, uh, I think a lot of people appreciate your insights and, uh, thank you. I really appreciate you for um, inviting me on because it's absolutely. like a great Great, great, great thing. The first thing is always starting with conversation. Then people can act upon that conversation. So I yeah, think it's I mean, awesome. If, if, if one man catches some insight here and, uh, you know, gets their act together, uh, that would be a good thing, right? Exactly. And you know what? And I hope and pray. I'm always hopeful. So regardless of how terrible they may be at this present day or, you know, great as they are at this present day, if they can, like I said, just elevate, just be better than you were yesterday. Better than yourself. You're in competition with no one but yourself. Be better than you were yesterday. Then everything else will abundantly come to you tenfold and you will have a happier life. I can't think of a better way to say it than that. That's great advice. (laughs) Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Take care. You too. Bye. Thanks. Bye.